Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 19. All right, the previous episode uh Naso got taken hostage by a villain who recently came out of the prison and he is obviously still not what can I say sane of mind. He like you know the villain was kind of a little bit of a crazy person you know and he's kind of like obsessed with endeavor in a weird way and yeah like stuff happened naso got captured as a hostage and endeavor like you know came into the scene and he really endeavor was really hesitating because you know like naso was very expressive towards endeavor for whatever he had done in his past and he really did not except endeavor and that was one thing that really bothered endeavor in a lot of ways that's why even though he was a hero and he should have been in hero mode like you know uh his parental emotions came out uh during that scene like scene and he hesitated to go and save uh natsu and but obviously <laughs> our three boys are there uh todoroki uh, uh, bakugo and midoriya so they took the, the the situation under control, like you know, saved all the other people and also saved Natsu. So that was like a job well done, and uh, yeah, and like Natsu, like obviously, like they had a little bit of a conversation. Uh, and if I told him that I'm not like asking you to forgive me, I'm just a Tony. This this is on my part. I'm making an amends. You don't have to forgive me if you don't want to and uh like and also like you know in a way Nasso says that yeah i'm not so kind like todoroki that i will forgive you but at the same time the the w reason why he's saying this word kind of <laughs> like you know uh like you know kind of hints at that he also is conflicted towards like you know forgiving him or not forgiving him and uh, just like todoroki is so yeah it also shows that he also has a kind heart so yeah that was that and uh, yeah that was like i'm guessing it's kind of like a good conclusion in a way and i'm guessing from now on you know endeavor and like not so uh, and the other like you know todoroki and, and the sister i always forget the sister's name i cannot remember it you know uh so yeah they'll start becoming a family when the mother will come back i'm sure a lot will change as well for the positive so yeah that's i'm guessing a happy ending and uh, now like i'm like you know i'm guessing we're going to focus on the um, what was the name of the group forgot the group that uh anyways let's just watch so yeah this is episode number 19 of my hero academia season 5 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one, go. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing in the episode number 19. So I'm guessing there'll be seven more episodes. I'm not sure. Is is this does this season have 24 or 26 episodes? Close to that. So there are probably five, six or seven episodes left and nothing has ever like, you know, even started. So stuff will go down in these couple of episodes and it will be very, what can I say? 
<laughs> intense because like the amount of episodes that is left is quite small compared to all the big arcs you know that comprised of so i'm guessing it'll be very intense like one by one okay let's see third term began all right three months <laughs> what is that <laughs> pause all right ground alpha yeah we need to show you our okay everyone's ready <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah he's also leveled up Oh, okay. <laughs> Gentle. All right. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> wow. Hmm. All right. Uraraka just. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Um. <laughs> well. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> Damn. Look at those moves. Yeah, she's going to connect the dots now. <laughs> there you go, the dots are connected. <laughs> okay, she also re she only realized. Hmm. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Black whip. <laughs> well, Baku and Todorok is also. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god, all might. <laughs> Was that a pun? I think so. Oh yeah, that is a pun. God. Yeah, you Where? Okay, what? Is this an emergency or something? Oh no, yeah, I think so. There is an emergency. Present Mike is sweating. Yeah. What? What is that? Yeah. What? Oh, where? Like zombies. Oh, Grand Trainers here. Oh, so we thought. Wait.
Yeah. Um. Oh. So it's controlling here? What the hell? Kurogi. Oh, Kurogi. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Shirakumo Oboro. Wait, who is that? I can't remember. Did we get introduced to him or something? Shirakumo Oboro. Oh no, we are we have not. Oh, so they were like friends. <laughs> oh. oh no oh my god So that's Kurogiri? Oh. oh no. Wait, so that means. Oh, oh my god. That... So that was they were doing, yeah. Oh my god, that's a... Wait a minute. Kurogiri was conscious of everything so it's different from the normals in a way yeah he, he he knows what he's doing he's unlike the other normals Oh. Oh, okay, it's making sense now. Hoodlum. Oh my god. Hmm. Forming an experiment. All right, okay. Oh, God. What the hell?
family. Oh my god, yeah, it'll be even harder for them. Whoa. I'm sleeping. Yeah, he has no idea. Yeah. What? Why is he asking? Oh my god. Uh, oh no. Yeah, okay. It's kind of the same. Like he used to take care of Ah. Uh. Yeah, his personality is there. <laughs> Damn, Resident Bank looked a lot like Mirio when he was younger. He's not understanding what. Ah, oh boy. Like. <sighs> Oh, it's changing. All right, come on. <laughs> Grand Torino. Yeah. Wait, who, which class is this? <laughs> Should expel and re enroll. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, that's why he's so all the time, you know? He's so like, I can understand now. Okay, it's changing. All right. Okay.
Oh my god. Okay. Oh god. Oh Oh no! Whoa! What the hell? Oh my god! Ah! Wow! Did did it get resetted or some? Whoa! 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 Oh my god! What is that? Yeah, it is him. <sighs> oh. What happened? Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's that lady. Hug raging around. <laughs> the Liberation Army, yeah. He, he threw the phone in the sofa. Was that deliberate? No, wait, what? Whoa! What the hell? Wait, d does does the villains know that this is happening to? Sh what the? I don't think they would allow this. Like you know, the League of Villains, or I don't know. I, I have no idea. 
because like we've always seen that they are kind of really like you know like good like they're villains obviously but they themselves are good friends and care for each other but i don't know oh boy well Okay. All right. That, yeah, that's the end. Okay, so this episode here. <clears throat> okay, here we get a. Uh, you no, know, what can I say? A little bit of a uh, backstory of Aizawa, uh, present Mike and what was his name oboro wasn't it yeah oboro um three of them and we get to see that uh he was like the third friend they had like they were like a trio and <clears throat> here there's a thing that is popping out like everyone's going like you know a new information that came out that the nomus are actually uh, dead bodies of certain people you know and uh, Oboro's body was also used for that same purpose and so this has been happening for quite a long while that means because I think uh, Aiza said something like Oboro died during the internship work like that was quite a while ago I'm guessing and yeah that means the whole Nomu experimentation has been going on from for a while and uh, like the, I think the first time that we ever saw Nomu was very recently, didn't we? Yeah. So like I'm talking about the time. Like I'm not talking about uh, like you know recent by like season one or two. Not like that. I'm talking about the time. You know that the time that is actually going in in the anime. Like that timeline. According to the timeline, it's quite recent. The whole uh, like, you know the Nomu came up uh, the first time. So all this time I'm guessing like there's like this whole experimentation going on and uh, Kurogiri was also present from the beginning and uh, so weird thing that is that, that's here is like we've always seen Nomus as like a beast type of a thing you know like that has like this type of like they 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 what can I say they follow only one instinct I think the first Nomu was like you know like the first Nomu was that the one that fought with All Might no, like they brought him and they said something like I think Shigaraki said yeah something like yeah this is made specially for you to destroy you all might and they had the fight and the Nomu was defeated like that was the first time we saw a Nomu and like you know like at that time and also the, in the like you know later instances as well whenever we saw a Nomu we saw that it has like you know like it, it kind of goes like acts on instinct a certain instinct and it kind of what can I say? It, it's ruled by instinct. It doesn't make sense. It cannot talk, as far as I can remember. You know, it doesn't have any reason. Does stuff only one? Like you know, stuff. You know, it's focused on only one stuff. And this was like the nomus that we saw before. So if so, Kurogiri obviously like now we are getting to know that he's also a gnome, and this is definitely a lot different than the other nomus because here Kurogiri's has an actual personality you know like uh we saw before when he was in the league of villains as as like, you know as he said in this episode as well like my job is to actually take care of shigaraki and i'm going to do that so <clears throat> so that was that's like a personality so it's kind of new for us to actually see a nomu having an actual personality who talks walks and you know has the kind of reason why he's doing stuff is not ruled by instinct only so that was the first surprising thing that we got to know from this episode 
and uh, obviously the the biggest surprise was, was that uh, like you know like Oboro is the uh, is Kurogi and uh, Aizawa and President Bike knew knew him from uh, the school days. So <coughs> yeah, and now here. So what actually happened? So I I don't know. Like they are trying to actually uh, make him talk, make him realize that he's Oboro, you know, Kurogiri. And they were kind of able to succeed in that, but it was a little bit less of like you know, they weren't unable to reach the goal. But they went like you know they the advanced considerable amount. So I'm wondering what's going to happen if he actually realizes that yeah I'm I'm Oboro. And we, we kind of saw that the, the hazy fog, uh, not fog, but that shadow of Kurogiri was going away and there was a face behind it, you know, the face of Oboro. And he was kind of trying to, like, you know, pronounce uh, Shota's, uh, Shota, yeah, Shota's name, Aizawa's name. And um, so I'm wondering what is, what's going to happen if, when he actually realizes and when they succeed in making him realize that he's Oboro. Will the fog go away? So if the fog goes away, will we see his face behind that, his original face? And then what? You know, he's dead. He's supposed to be dead. So will, will he will he be alive after that? Like, or or maybe like you know, if if the whole uh, thing goes away, uh, will he die? As he's supposed to be, that is, you can go back to his original state. State. So these are the questions that we have, and uh, there is a big chance of you know it actually going like that. Like as soon as if if they're able to drive out Kurogiri, you know, drive him out uh, like completely, and actually Oboro actually realizes that yeah I'm Oboro. There's a big chance of him actually. Uh, not being able to keep his form and you know uh, dying again because he's supposed to be dead and I'm guessing like Kurogiri is actually this, this, a certain thing which is making him stay alive so I don't know like this is just guesses or maybe like you know who knows I have I have no idea so it's kind of in a way concerning in that way as well that but but you know like obviously like they did it's like a, like keeping a dead body like alive you know in this way it's like very i'm sure it's very painful for him you know Oboro as well so i'm guessing if you know if if it really happens if he really goes back to his original state and he dies again i'm guessing he'll be uh, what can i say like saved from the constant pain of being alive even after he's dead and that'll be good in a way, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be able to rest in peace. So, uh, it'll be very sad for Aizawa and present Mike because it's not that they're witnessing his death for the first time. He'll be, they'll be witnessing his death for the second time, you know, like that's more painful. So, I don't know. And now here's another thing that we actually understand from this episode is the reason why uh, Aizawa is so, what can I say, cautious about everything, you know, like um, we've seen before that he usually like, you know, uh, what do you call it, like uh, expel people who are really not fit enough to be a hero. And he's very strict at that, mostly because of this, because he knows if, if these people who are really not good enough to become a hero becomes a hero, they'll just die you know like because this is no joke the whole hero business that's happening the whole, whole like you know becoming a hero and fighting the evil you know this is no joke so like this is like life and death situation so not like you know so that someone does not follow the same path as Oboro did he he rejects them at the, at the beginning only like we, like we thought like yeah he is just like you know he's just his personality but no there's a bigger and deeper reason behind it and we we actually understand it from this episode so like Oboro's death made him you know uh, change his way of thinking now he's very strict and he always you know and he's always like you know we've seen it he's always like uh, he tries to keep everyone safe and like you know tries to not take risks yeah that's what he always does so this is the reason why 
and he said that you know like he he just said that if, if like you know, it's all well and good that if you're trying to be a hero like you know if you're like you know tr taking risks and saving people that's very good but losing your life in that process that's not that's no way to be a hero and that's one thing that he you know realized a lot late after like you know Oboro died and I, i'm guessing that is really kind of like you know what can i say that really bothers him and that's why he doesn't want anyone anyone following Oboro's footsteps and he you know like his, his always like you know doesn't want people taking risks and he's very cautious and at the same time very strict so this is the big reason behind that and uh, yeah yeah and then the, we, we see as i said like you know we see a lot of the backstories and overall uh, uh, Kurogiri was able to understand like not understand but able to kind of go back to his Oboro like you know uh, like his original like you know the way he's supposed to be and uh, there was a time when like it, it suddenly like he went through a complete reversal reset like, he, like you know the, like he was getting agitated and then suddenly a time comes when he suddenly like what are you saying like you know i'm i'm kiri uh Kuro kiri. i'm not overall and like, you know like like it's like an, he did go went through a hard reset and then suddenly he again starts getting agitated and it, it's like the, the waves are like through the roof and that was like the biggest portion where he was able to return back to his like you know original self that is overall and he was even trying to call aizawa's name but then again i'm guessing like you know he uh, he went back to his like you know Kurogiri uh, persona I'm not sure what that actually is but you know that form so uh, I don't know like so they, they transfer like obviously they're going to transfer him to a hospital and I don't know how they'll be able to uh, bring him back I'm guessing Aizawa and uh, present Mike will have to go and visit him often you know now and then and try to bring him back yeah that's most probably what's going to happen and so we still have no idea what an nomu actually is like there's a, a lot of secrets behind it and like you know <coughs> alpha once said something like it's like a wine or something like you know weird analogy <laughs> boy and uh yeah so it's it's not as simple as we thought like you know like the nomus are not as simple as we thought there's some bigger secrets behind it and uh, yeah damn that was something okay and then uh okay that was that and then we go to the next scene just a sec where is it uh yeah when hawks saying stuff yeah when Hawks is talking on the phone and he chucks the phone back okay uh all right anyways okay so yeah I, I was trying to check out something so he goes out He goes out and then he says something like hospital the pieces are in place and that leaves and then we excuse me go to the other thing when there's a, like a mad scientist or someone i'm not sure who that was is experimenting on shigaraki now Okay, and he says something like the masterpiece all for one and I have sought. So yeah, Shigaraki is also basically a, what can I say, a pawn, yeah, a test subject that they're basically like, you know, you know like, like talking about him as like a object. It's all going well, better than I envisioned. And then we see Shigaraki getting electrified, electrocuted. Oh my god, there's something coming out of his 
stomach. Oh. All right, so I don't think we've seen this weird guy before. This doctor, scientist, I think it's all scientist, yeah. This mad scientist type of a person before. I don't think we've seen him before, or do, did we? I can't remember. But yeah, and he's saying stuff like All Might and I have seen. Like, you know, that means uh, not All Might. So what am I even saying? All for one. And um, the, I have seen the, the, the thing that we have, you know, thought out for so long. Something like that he's saying. So that means, yeah, like that means Shigaraki is basically like a, what can I say, human experimentation subject or something like that for uh, all for one. And I don't think the League of Villains knows that this is happening. I really don't think so because I said this before, like, you know, even though they're villains, they themselves as a group are really kind of, like, you know, a, a tight group, like, you know, they care about each other in, in, in their own way. So I don't think, yeah, I, I definitely don't think that they know that this is happening to him. Or maybe I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but at least for now, you know, we don't have any information about it. Like, I think that, nah, they, they're, they're kept under the dark. They, they really don't know what's happening to Shigaraki. And I'm sure Shigaraki himself won't say anything to them. Yeah. You know, because I'm sure, like, the, the doctor, the, the scientist that's, like, experimenting on him must have said something to him, uh, something like, Oh, this is going to make you even more powerful. You'll be more useful for, you know, like you'll be, you'll be able to help all for one even more. And something like that he said, I'm sure. And that's why he's undergoing the experimentations. And he's not even telling, I'm, I'm sure he did not tell anything like this, that this is happening to the League of Villains. And they don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But at least this is how I see this. Because we've seen, you know, like, uh, even though they are the villains, they, they really do care about each other, the villains themselves, especially Shigaraki, like, you know, like, they, they are really loyal to Shigaraki, and I don't think they know this. Anyways, okay, so yeah, guys, that was it. That was my reaction to My Hero Academia, uh, season 5, episode number 19, so... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia so until then goodbye and have a nice day